hello friends so last time we created this purchase master and in last video actually we did these things when you're going to select company according to it we are going to load these things using edges so now we are going to perform the task of this purchase now button so first of all here we need to create one more table table name is stock because when we are going to press that button on that time we need to update stock also so uh, i am going to create here one new table stock or we can take name stock master yeah here id then i am going to take product company product name product unit then product quantity and product selling price here 5 then primary key and auto increment and here I am going to take then save so now we have the stock master table so here you can see this is the purchase master our page yeah this is the is set button so here first of all I am going to check this button name and everything is working proper or not so I am going to just write here testing now I am going to run these things and going to just click this now oh, here I have to give proper. Now we have to check. Yeah, you can see we are getting here testing. It means this button is working proper. Now we are going to start our code. So first of all, we are going to perform insert operation inside our purchase master. So I am going to write here query. dollar link insert into purchase master then values first values id so we have to pass null and then after we have nine fields so here i am going to pass one two three four five six seven eight and nine now we need to pass company name so here i am going to pass dollar underscore post company name then here we have to pass our drop down name whatever we passed in last video product name then here do underscore post unit let me trump pair id company name product name unit packing size id company name product name unit packing size yeah this is fine now quantity price party name so quantity price then party name then purchase type and then expiry date and here we need to write or die minus july underscore error dollar link yeah this is done here now we are going to check our query is working proper or not then after we are going to fire another query yeah. I am 
not getting any error so I'm going to check here yeah you can see we are getting here proper entry but I am going to delete because at a time we are we have to update our stock table also so now we are going to write query of the stock master here first of all we are going to check the product is already available inside this table or not if product is already available inside this table then we need to update only quantity if product is not available inside this table then we have to enter that quantity inside this table so here first of all we are going to check dollar res mysqli underscore query dollar link and here we are going to check select star from stock master where product company is equal to and product name is equal to and product unit so here I am going to pass dollar underscore post product name sorry here we have to pass company name here we have to pass product name and here we have to pass unit and we are going to check how many records are available with this entry so here dollar count is equal to zero then dollar count is equal to mysqli underscore number of rows then dollar res if dollar count is equal to is equal to zero means this product is not available inside this table otherwise else if product is not available then we are going to fire insert query so here mysqli underscore query dollar link insert into stock master then values first parameter is null and then we have to pass another five parameters so one two three four five first one is product company so here I am going to copy this product company then product name then unit then quantity and right now for this selling price we are going to press zero later on we have to update this why we are going to set here zero right now because you can see sometime when you are going to buy product on the time you buy this in 5 INR or 5 USD later on when, we, when you, are, you are going to buy that product maybe price is increased or price is decreased so what you can do just you have to update this product price on this selling table that in next studio I am going to show you how we can update that price so directly when you are going to sell this item we will get this price from the stock master table now here this is for count zero means we are going to insert this if we found this product then we need to update quantity but here I am going to write this is fine now here update stock underscore master set product quantity is equal to product quantity plus to underscore post uty where in where we have to pass these things so just copy 
and paste and here also we need to pass these things yeah this is done now we need to display our success message like 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 this so here i am going to write This is done. Now we are going to check. I hope everything should be work fine. Amol then mail select unit ML 500 quantity is 5 price is 5 cash and purchase. Now we are going to check we got entry inside this table or not. Yeah, we got these things and here I got price zero that is also fine now we are going to check inside purchase master also okay this is fine quantity is five again i am going to show you the stock master quantity is five now i am going to enter this product again ten five So here it should be quantity 15 you can see our stock is increased now when we are going to sell this product we are going to decrease product from here sorry decrease the quantity from here and now in next video I am going to show you how we can update this price thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again